Um, whenever we go for Maven, Maven setup, first we have to know about parent pharma. Okay, why we have to go for parent pharma? I will give you one example. For example, we have a 10 projects, 10 projects having the different palm dot XML, and the different palm dot XMLs have sometimes common jars. For example, spring related jars or studs related jars, any common. For example, logging also will be used in all the projects. So some common jars. Will be, will be there which we we are using in all the projects so in that case what we will do we will create a one parent form and we will specify the common charge which will be used by all the projects so that parent form will be uh, um, uh, entry that parent form entry will, will be given in all the sub projects so we will go to the POM. So a POM is the POM project object model is the fundamental unit of work in Maven. It is an XML file that contains information about the project and the configuration details used by Maven to build the project. It contains default values of most projects. Example for this are the build directory which is target, the source directory which is src main java, the test source directory which is src main test, list of jars entries and so on. The pump was renamed uh, from project.xml in maven1 to pom.xml in maven2. Instead of having a maven.xml file that contains the goals that can be executed, the goals or plugins are now configured in the pom.xml. When executing a task or goal, maven looks for the pom in the current directory. It reads the pom and gets needed configuration information and then executes the goal. Okay, this is the description of pom. And we will see what and all steps we have parent palm also one palm there is no big difference between parent palm and normal palm okay palm 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 nothing but every project will have a parent palm uh, every project will have a palm dot xml but we are talking about especially parent palm so we'll see what is exactly difference between parent palm and a normal palm then why parent palm Whenever we go with application having multiple services, just now we discussed about the common jars. So that is here I explained. So instead of having same jars entries, all the palms, we are going for the parent palm. And what is the use to having parent palm? Individual entries will be reduced by inheriting parent palm. Obviously, we'll have a control and uniformly on palms. Obviously, right? Because, for example, I have an application one. I'm using Spring 2.5.6. In application two, I'm using Spring 3.1.0. So, whenever I integrate this application one and two, I will have a mismatch between Spring jars versions. So, if I use parent form, so I will specify Spring 3.1.0 snapshot in parent form. That parent form will be used by the application one and two so obviously we have a control and uniformly maintaining same char versions any change comes in dependency versions and that will be reflected in all the inherited forms obviously by this approach we can avoid issues with the version differences between applications and third point have a chance to implement multi-model concept yes and you will have a doubt what is multi-model concept so for example whenever you do in uh, maven clean install for one application and uh, uh, we will do generally individually so uh, once i do uh, maven clean install on parent form that should be affected on application one two three also this is multi-model concepts if we use parent form build that will be um, build the remaining modules also so at the time with parent we can able to do maven install or build for uh, sub modules also sub modules are projects so that is called multi-model concepts 
when we'll say how uh, how to create a parent bomb yeah obviously you know like uh, as of now we are discussing pom.xml for project and all we'll see what is exactly difference between parent bomb so packaging need to be follow as a palm so this parent palm will have a packaging structure as a palm so this will be the first and main difference for a parent palm and a project palm.xml so generally our generally our application uh, packaging will be jar or war will be decided based on our uh, requirement so this parent palm obviously always it should be palm.xml alone and the second step creating properties for versions for example if we want to follow exactly spring version will be only like this means we have a chance to create the properties for just these are the values of just properties uh, 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 properties for each and every version and these properties will be used inside palm.xml so for example mule version mule version 3.2.1 i specified and that will be given to this version so automatically this will be picked by the this property so uh, this 3.21 will be replaced here so for why we need a properties means for example uh, i want to just i want to change the spring version means directly i can go here and change instead of changing each and every, each and every point of spring version so this is the concept of properties so include all dependencies in dependency management below entries just an example you need to add jar entries as per your project so these will be entries of dependencies so i specified in dependency management dependency management tag this is only for the parent palm this tag we cannot use sub, for sub modules so Mavic provides a way for you to consolidate dependency versions numbers in the dependency management element. You will use, usually see the dependency management element in top level parent palm for an organization or project. Using the dependency management element in a palm.xml allow you to reference a dependency in child project without having to explicitly list the version. So, Using dependency management, no need to specify the versions in sub project. So whenever you have that entry, that will be automatically picked by the dependency management. So dependency management will fix the version of the jar. So we have a chance to specify the plugins. These are the plugins. And the same like we have uh, dependency management, we have a plugin management also. So using Maven, we have a not only installing, not only building the project, we can add our own standards, coding standards using PMD, Findbugs or Check Style CPD. So these are the plugins Maven is supporting. So using by this plugins, we can directly use the PMD or CPD. These are the details will be and this is the using uh, for reporting and these are the details so like this we have to create a profile and that will be activated here so this is the parent form even PMD uh, findbacks are uh, these uh, kind of plugins right this will be also will be shared to the uh, sub modules this is the main concept of parent palm parent palm will be the shareable palm to all the application this is the short and sweet definition